Hi guys. Hi. Oh, it's starting to rain. Oh yeah. Okay, so uh, Brennan and I are on a little adventure today just to go find and check out some Halloween stuff. So we're here at Party City. That's our first stop. Let's see what they got. Yeah. All right, let's see what they got in Party City. I'm kind of excited for this. All right, so we're inside the store. Hey, this is cool. Buy two, get one tombstones free. It's a pretty good deal. <laughs> we have a lot of spooky stuff over here. Where's Brennan? There's Brennan. I think on this side they have a lot of the window and door decor. Wow. Oh, look, Brennan, what you've always wanted, a cockroach necklace. Oh, perfect. And the earrings, too, to compliment. Oh, it'll go with my outfit. Now we're checking out the wall of a thousand costumes. Wow, they have everything here. My eyes were immediately drawn to <laughs> regular Spider-Man and buff Spider-Man. I like that. There's so many costumes. This is unbelievable. All right, we'll come back to that wall in just a second. But we're gonna explore some more, maybe some props or maybe some wigs or something. I don't know, this is fun. This aisle has most of the facial hair and the wigs and that sort of fun stuff. I think this is where you got your aerial wig from last year, right? Yeah, it's on the sports wall. Or the year before. Or no, last year. I don't know. It was two years ago. You can wear a sushi hat or a chili hat or even a chicken hat. Look at you. This is gross. There's some Disney stuff over here. <laughs> Look at the it's size insane. of these ears. Insane. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's intense, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Up at the front they have a lot of balloons. And we just came out of this aisle. They have some Harry Potter stuff over here. Little Harry Potter skirt. <laughs> little indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I like this tiny little head wig right here. It's kind of adorable. Got a lot of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff over here. These are some projections and some fog effect stuff. I like this, this is really cool. This is kind of a kind of a cheap way, but a cool way to decorate your house for Halloween. Is that a black light bulb? Yeah. I thought they were smaller, and I thought I was gonna see if maybe you can screw one into the lights that you have hanging in your living room, and mm -hmm. you can create black lights in your living room, but these are like an actual light bulb. That reminds me of college, yeah. black light bulbs and parties and stuff. I had a black light strip that my dad installed in my room growing up, so all my friends would come over for sleepovers and we'd have like black light parties in my room. Look at all these little infant costumes. That's adorable. That's creepy. That thing just fell off the wall. It just fell off the wall? Yeah. Did anybody do it? No, no. Oh, that's terrifying. I like the little baby monkey costume right there though. Also got baby shark doo 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 doo. And then a little baby cow, baby skunk. What else? There's a little baby Wreck-It Ralph down here. Of course, you got your tacos and your pizza and your fries. A little baby Stay Puff. A little baby Stay Puff. I already showed these awkward Spider-Man costumes, but there's also these inflatable ones over there. You can get yourself a Thanos. That's pretty cool. Optimus Prime. Got a lot of the scarier ones over here. I got some girl costumes too. This is pretty cool. A lot of the representation of the female superheroes. That's pretty cute, and then it gets older as you go down. See how everything's getting a little bit more and more sexy. Kind of a weird word to say, but it does. See, but the sexiest ones are all the way down at the end. Check that out. Also got that. Got some bacon and eggs, peanut butter and jelly. The Pope. There we go, the sexiest is all the way at the end. I've always thought that one of the most hilarious aspects of Halloween are the copyright issues. They can't, like if it's a costume like Harley Quinn, they can't say Harley Quinn, they say sexy clown lady costume. So here we have a, a Trump mask, obviously, but it's called a comb over leader mask. I don't know, I think that's hilarious. All right, hi. So I think we're gonna head out, right? On to our next Halloween stop. Did you find your hat? I didn't find my hats. I was looking for some hats, but I think they replaced them with all the Halloween stuff, but that's okay. But I think these are obviously the best Halloween costumes. Holy guacamole kit, the oh dear kit, monkey business, and the chick magnet. <laughs> so Brennan and I are on our way out and we were distracted by Nikki here and all of the cool little trinkets and candies that they have and we turned around and boom, 
the spider butt. <laughs> that was really distracting. They have these statues. Here there's Spider-Man. Got a Ninja Turtle. Olaf there. Got Minnie Mouse over there. Got a giant gumball machine. See any candies or trinkets you want? I was this kid growing up. The kid that wanted liquid sugar. The kid that wanted dipping sugar. I loved sugar as a kid and I would make my mom buy these most disgusting things. Just like shh, shh and it's just sugar. All right, so we're actually gonna get a couple things. I'm getting this 100% tasty candy burger. You can kind of see it in there. And then Brennan is getting this mini candy sushi. Look how cute it is. This is fun. These are both only $4, but just the novelty <laughs> of it is gonna be fun. All right, so fast forward a couple hours. Brennan and I are at Panda Express right now enjoying some delicious lunch. We went over to Ross to do a little shopping for some clothes, and then we went to Total Wine to get some drinks. So we're having a pretty productive fun day, and then after this, I think it's on to Spirit Halloween. All right, so we've had our lunch, and now we've made it over to Spirit Halloween just to see what kind of stuff they have in here and how it's different than the Party City store. What do you think this was before it was a uh, Spirit Halloween? A gym? Really? All right, so we're inside. There are a lot of interactive mannequins in here, which I've seen in action before. Let's see if this guy does anything. He does not, but he's still pretty creepy. So far, the accuracy of this store is a little bit of a more high caliber than the party city was. And look at this, you have the Hocus Pocus sisters' dresses. That's really cool. I like that a lot. This is Michael Myers doing his thing. You just have to step on these pads. Same with all of these other animatronics. And also this guy, he didn't work for me. Ah! Somebody else came by and did the button and then he worked. So I guess he does work. All right, moving on. You there! Do you want to play a game? If I catch you, then I can eat you! Got you! Oh my god, he touched me. Ah, well, I'll just have to catch you. That was scary. <laughs> Is he doing anything? And I hope that they don't do anything, because these guys are actually legitimately terrifying. Maybe not. Maybe too many people have stepped on these guys. Ah! Oh my freaking god. That's scary. Yeah! Alright, so that terrified me more than anything else here so far. <laughs> oh jeez. Ah. Ah. Isn't that bad? Uh, oh god, the spider's back there shaking around. Yeah. What do you think about all this? <laughs> I hate things that jump out at me. <laughs> I know. That spider got me good. Oh, there's like a rotating body with no head over there. So this lady without a head was moving around just a minute ago. Did you see her from across the way? I did. Was it scary? Yeah. Is that a heart? Yeah, it's just a heart. Oh, just a heart. I think I'm gonna go inside this haunted house over here and Brennan's gonna wait for me outside. This is eerie. This was straight up moving around by itself. All right, let's see what's going on inside. That was terrifying. 
What in the Lord? There's nothing. What am I? What is this? Lasers and fog? Ah! That was nice and spooky. You missed out. And they have a bunch of uh, adhesives and latex um, appendages and masks and bloody things over here. This is intense. Oh my god. It's always the things down there, like the lower things, that really terrify me. Jeez. Nothing, ladies? Try that again. Maybe not. Probably for the best. Oh. Can you help us find it? <laughs> That is pretty eerie. I swear to God, I think she keeps moving every time I turn around. She's in like a different place, but only like a couple feet away. <laughs> and it's kind of terrifying. So the rest of the store is just kind of pretty general, just kind of props and generic costumes for Halloween and that kind of stuff. What do you think? Do you like it in here? I like the music too. Fogging basement doors here. A lot of this stuff is really expensive, but wow, people do like to go all out for Halloween. Do you want to be a cheeseburger for Halloween? Yay! Yeah. Hey, what about pandas? Pandas! Or T Rex piggyback. <laughs> Whoa, they have keyblades here? Whoa! I've actually never played Kingdom Hearts, but this is so cool. Okay, but without a doubt, this is my favorite. Look at Baymax! <laughs> I love that. Got a Goku also, that's cool. Man. Get yourself some mermaid pants there. Perfect. Could also just be a big, the name of it is just blue. Okay. <laughs> you could be a poop. You're already a poop. I am a poop. Here's another poop over here. You could ride an ostrich, ride a bull rider, <laughs> ride a wrestler. All right. Something funny? <laughs> Bubba. Oh, his name's Bubba? <laughs> Bubba scared me earlier, that's for sure. Wait, no. Is he over there? Yeah, he's over there. Oh. Got a gargoyle over here, too. There he is. And of course, got some more Hocus Pocus. A lot of Hocus Pocus over here. Look at this. They're literally plushes. It's kind of cute, though. And then some... Let's see if this does anything. Nope, maybe not. Come on, Nightmare Before Christmas, do something cool. Ah. That was cool. Let me need to step on a little bit more. Maybe not. So I think we're about to head on out, but Brennan, I found something you might like right here. The posable dummy prop. Looks useful, right? Why would I need that? What do I have here? Well, that was our trip to the Spirit Halloween store. This is over by Fun Spot, I guess, and Ooh, it's, raining it's raining again. What in the world? It's just a rainy right. day today. Uh, we're gonna head home, I guess, right? Yeah. Yay! See you at home. Hi, Brennan. Hello. So we're back in my apartment. You can see my nice little Christmas decorations over here. There's Farley. Hi, Farley. Looking good. Uh, so I thought you'd show off your haul that we got today. <laughs> so you can show off your your clothes and your treats and your snacks. The beer that you got. You should have taken this off the table. That was right there. Oh, yeah. This is my pile of candy. Look at all this stuff. Isn't this incredible? Don't you want this to be in your living room whenever you come home from work? All right, so go for it. Now that I like look back on everything, we bought a lot of random stuff today. I don't mind it. What'd you get at Russ? Um, I got this really soft uh, red cardigan uh, preparing for when it starts to get cold out. If it does start to get cold. If. If anything, it's comfortable and you can wear it like over a dress to like a nice restaurant or to the movies or whatever. I don't know. And then I got some comfy leggings that have this cool little, you know, side thing right here. Mm -hmm. Um, I got this candle and uh, it's fresh linen. It smells like laundry, but it reminds me of my grandma. So. Mm -hmm. It brings back nice memories. Um, 
We got these gummies at Party City just because I thought they were fun and like the novelty of it. Mm -hmm. um, I got myself a new little tumbler because I keep buying one from Publix and it keeps breaking. <laughs> so I got myself a new one. Looks cool. It's yeah. like copper almost. A little bit. Um, and then we went to Total Wine and More and got some, some drinks. These are yours? Yeah. Want to show off the ones you got? So this is the one I'm most excited about. They have a Dunkin' Donuts Porter. Yay! Like, how awesome is that? And then, just real quick, what are the rest of them? Yeah. Um, this is a vanilla porter. And then these are two ciders. It's a pear cider and then a pineapple cider. And then this blueberry maple stout. Mm-hmm. I'm like slamming it down. And then a Neapolitan milk stout. Ooh. And then this guy. And then this one. I'm really excited about this one. It's a coconut and chocolate. It's a porter as well, sorry. So what did you get? Um, so I pretty much got the same stuff. We switched places. Uh, we didn't get the same stuff, but we got similar things at each place. You didn't get cute shirts. little leggings like I did? I should have, but I didn't, darn it. Uh, but I got two cool shirts. This one's kind of cool. It's kind of like a, I don't know, it's like a hoodie t-shirt kind of a thing. with Just like a pretty simple, like patch and then like this hood design right there. I like that a lot. And then, uh, you know, throwing it back a little bit, I got a Space Jam shirt right there. And then this is the back of that. Pretty cool. There we go, because I've seen Space Jam just so many times. Right? <laughs> um, got this burger, which we're going to open these and enjoy these in a little bit. But yeah, I showed this off at Party City getting that there. Um, I didn't get a candle or a tumbler, which I probably should have, but I did get some stuff at uh, the total wine. I got a giant fireball. Just a little bit. I know, right? This is just, I just, I don't know. I don't know about, Brennan and I were talking about this, how like, it's kind of nice just to have, you know, if you drink alcohol, if you consume, it's just kind of good to kind of have it if you need it. You know, I don't drink fireball every day of my life, but it's just nice to have as just an aesthetic in the background. And then when it's useful, it is useful. You can mix it with some stuff. Um, but I got some beers as well. Some of them, I think one of them I got the same as you. Um, whatever. Uh, which one? This one was the same. The oh, you got that berry maple. Yeah. Um, and I got this banana bread one. Oh, you ended up getting the banana bread one too. Yeah. This watermelon one. Wait, hold on. It didn't. Oh, neat. Um, this uh, coconut and coffee porter right there. Mm, I want to try that one. This double cream stout right there, and then one that. Maybe people are going to be familiar with is the shop for offer the grapefruit beer that they serve at uh, in Germany at Epcot. So they sell these um, individually or buy the six pack. And uh, I guess that's it. And then this handle. <laughs> fireball. Yeah. And this is just. Oh, this is half of what I drink at night. You know, just to kind of get me through the day, right? Yeah. Some take melatonin. Some, you know, have lavender candles. <laughs> All right, so Brennan opened up her candy sushi. <laughs> you excited to try that? It's so cute looking, but like all the smells together don't smell that good, so I'm a little nervous now. I'll try it. Go for it. <laughs> okay, I'll start with this first. Eat it all together. Okay. Oh god. Okay. So I think this is pretty much just um one of the apple rings. With the gummy bear in it? Yeah. Oh, is this a marshmallow? Kind of looks like it with one of those, like, <laughs> airhead sour tapes on it. It's like, oh gosh, okay. Mm. That was sour. Ooh. I don't know what this is. I want to say it's a marshmallow, but I'm not tasting any marshmallow. Uh-oh. So now whatever this is. Ooh. This is that kind of just looks like a gumdrop. Mm-hmm. Okay. Whoa, that's a weird texture. It's rough. Hmm. It kind of tastes like something, and this is going to sound weird, but it kind of tastes like something that has no flavor. <laughs> and then we'll try one of these guys. Ooh. 
This is like that lingonberry soda from Club Cool. Oh, Club Cool? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then whatever this is. Oh, God, this looks like strings of poop. <laughs> no, it looks like an earthworm. <laughs> ah, it doesn't end. Ah. Oh, my gosh. It's like root beer. Oh, okay. It's a root beer gummy. <clears throat> I feel like this is gonna be another rough gummy. Sorry. <laughs> this is what people are watching for right here. <laughs> the first bunch. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. It's orange. I think this thing has no flavor. Ah. <laughs> I think it's just there. But do you like it all? Yeah, this was really cute. Really creative. Yeah, I'm excited for you to try your cheeseburger. Sorry, I'm talking with my mouth full. All right, so Brennan just had her sushi, which was a little bit more complicated than this is probably going to be. <laughs> it's made of 22 soft candies. 22? Yeah, we have six sweet candy buns, six candy uh, sauces. It looks just like a mustard and ketchup gummy bear. Five <laughs> candy bites. Oh, that's what I like had. The patty. And then four candy salads, which look like the pickles. All right, so this is my burger right here. Oh, wow. Open this guy up here. Oh. <laughs> Wait. What? The bottom was a fake bun? I'm gypped. <laughs> oh, no. How do I... So do I just dig it out of here? I guess so. Okay. I'm just going to eat it piece by piece. Then here's the pickle. Tastes just like a really thick gummy worm. So next is the patty, I guess, which is this guy. Did you even finish the other one? It's over here. I put them all in my mouth, then it's the cheeseburger, you know? Ew. I'm literally, I'm trying to think of a candy that is similar to whatever that is. Does it taste like the, like, my root beer string? I don't know. Here, take a bite. I don't know what that is, but I feel like all you can hear is just me chewing it. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that, okay, so here goes my Double gummy bear. Tastes just like a gummy bear. I know this part. The bun. Does that look like a fun check? Oh, it looks like a fun texture. <laughs> All these are just different kinds of gummies. Yeah. That are thicker and more dense than the one before. That's like what mine like were. Different, I guess so, right? <laughs> <laughs> Now this just looks like a fruit salad. <laughs> <laughs> it is, oh man. With pickles. <laughs> uh, I was really hoping for like a, I mean, I suppose I could literally just take them all and stack them and eat them like that. Yeah. Which I might just do that after I'm done with this mouthful. But that was us eating gummies for five minutes. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's what this whole video is. It's just us doing errands. <laughs> They're not even errands. Like we just had a free day mm -hmm. and just wanted to walk around and do stuff. We also went to CVS and got like shampoo and stuff, but I'm not going to show that because CVS do you really care, haul. Do you really care about us getting shampoo at CVS? Ow, my teeth are very sore now, so <laughs> that's good. Hey, but thank you for coming with us today and having a good time getting to explore some of the Halloween stores. Um, I know that other people have probably done this, gone and filmed or taken pictures of, you know, the Spirit Halloween store and kind of showcase what they have there already, but. I wanted to go and check it out, and I know Brenda wanted to go too. It's and just kind of something that you do every year when it comes into town. You go to the spirit store. It's mm -hmm. like that's why people record it all the time because it's the thing to do. But I'm glad other people did it because then I got to do it and I got to show, show. I got to show you around there too. Uh, but I had a good day today, getting to do again all the errands that we ended up doing and all of the food that we had today and the gummies and just spending a lot of money, which is just great, you know? <laughs> um, so we still have a little bit of time in October left. We have uh, some plans, some fun stuff to get done before the Halloween season is over, which I'm excited about. Um, pretty soon we're gonna get to go, hopefully, to a pumpkin patch, maybe pick up a pumpkin, maybe carve it. We'll see, that should be a lot of fun. You know, actually, what could be a lot of fun? What if we had them comment what we should carve our pumpkins? Ooh. That's kind of a challenge. Really test my skills yeah so does it have to be carving or can we get creative we can get creative we'll decorated. take like a general kind of concept proposal from somebody so if you watched this video all the way to the end that means that you are invested enough in our lives to care about us going to 
stores to do shopping and eating gummy bears, which means that <laughs> your opinion is so valid in what we would carve our pumpkins as that we will actually do it. So comment below and just give us an idea. Um, we may not do that exact thing, depending on you know how much time we have or what kind of a size pumpkin that we have. I might want to paint mine. Yeah, so yeah, comment something and we will try to make that happen and we will put you in that video. How about that? That's kind of fun, right? Oh, oh fancy. Yeah. We those fancy YouTubers now. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, but have a good night and or day whenever you watch this. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing those suggestions. Goodbye. Bye.